Good morning. This is Solomon Jones on 900 AM WURD, the Wake Up With Word show. And we are back. We're broadcasting live from Gerard College on Martin Luther King Day. The Martin Luther King Day of Service, of course, is going on here. Uh, You should come down. Check it out at Gerard College in beautiful North Philadelphia. And we are here with Pedro Ramos. He is now the president and CEO of the Philadelphia Foundation. And uh, I'm going to ask you first the question that I asked our listeners this morning. What is the true legacy of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.? I'm a lawyer, so we often think about the civil rights era and his contribution in terms of the changes made to laws. But I think uh, more more than that, uh, Dr. King uh, cared about the well-being of all in a way that went beyond sort of our our, our legal rights. And um, and so it's fitting that this year's focus is on economic issues here on this King Day of Service, that, uh, you know, economic well-being, economic mobility, or also economic justice issues. Yeah, absolutely. And, and as we talked about uh, earlier this morning, you know, economics was the issue that he was focused on at the end of his life. That's the issue that he was looking at, poverty, uh, raising the wages of, of workers, unemployment, underemployment, um, and, and really uh, changing the economic fortunes of, of people. Now, as president and CEO of the Philadelphia Foundation, I think the biggest news that, that we've seen in the last uh, week or so is that the Philadelphia Daily News, Philadelphia Inquirer, and Philadelphia.com have been donated to the Philadelphia Foundation. Uh, and, of course, the for-profit company will operate independently under that nonprofit. Uh, it's a different model, and it's, it's, it's somewhat of a risk, I would say, because we've had some nonprofit models of uh, of journalism that have not worked out um and so as president and ceo of the philadelphia foundation how do you see that uh impacting journalism in general and specifically journalism in philadelphia moving forward well i think you know for uh mr lenfest he was trying to uh uh do three things in thinking about you know how um, uh, uh, how to deal with this important ass- community asset that he owned. And I think <laughs> for him, um, he wanted to make sure, he acknowledged he's 85 years old, he wanted to make sure that the newspapers were in trusted hands. So mm-hmm. we're very uh, privileged and honored at the Philadelphia Foundation to to have that trust. Yeah. Um, uh, uh, more, Even more importantly, uh, the Journalism, independent journalism in, in America is, has been seen as the fourth estate of our democracy. It's important right. to holding uh, our, our uh, community institutions, our government and, and other common institutions uh, accountable. So having independent investigative journalism as we've had with the major with the biggest newspapers, as well as with a lot of the community press, all those big and small are going through the same uh, uh, pressures right now economically. How do you produce? How do you pay for that hard, labor-intensive work when the economic model is changing? People aren't paying to read, uh, and advertisers are, are going elsewhere. Yeah. So this Institute for Journalism and New Media is uh, seeking to find solutions not just for the our uh, local paper, but the institution of local independent journalism uh, in the digital age. And the third piece is, while that goes on, we still need to be able to have funding for uh, local independent journalism. So this would be another nonprofit in that space helping uh, to fund those types of projects. Well, uh, we're talking with Pedro Ramos. He is the uh, president and CEO of the Philadelphia Foundation, uh, which, of course, is uh, supporting the Martin Luther King Day of Service um, here at Gerard College, beautiful Gerard College in uh, North Philadelphia, um, and has also just been bequeathed the uh, Philadelphia Daily News as well as the Philadelphia Inquirer and Philadelphia.com by owner Jerry Lenfest. And, uh, you know, I, I, would be, I would be remiss if I didn't uh, ask you about diversity in journalism. It's been a problem here in Philadelphia. It's been a problem across uh, the United States. A lot of people look at the media as as a problem in terms of race relations simply because there is not diversity there. What uh, what commitment uh, does the Philadelphia Foundation have now in helping to promote um, and helping to really put diversity in place in mainstream media? Well, we have uh 
we, we have a, a board seat uh, at the table of this new independent institute for journalism and new media. But as an institution, uh, we've uh, long been committed to issues of uh, 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 civil rights and, 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 and uh, racial justice. And we were, as a foundation, uh, very early in involved in a number of in funding because we, what we do is we connect philanthropic capacity to nonprofit organizations sure. dedicated to w- serving uh, the community and its well-being, particularly high poverty populations. And so we've been early on uh, as a foundation involved in, in uh, civil rights at, at we and then uh, in the adjusting to the needs of the community as they come on. We were the aid, an early AIDS funder with other organizations and there was no, there were no other sources of AIDS funding, um, you know, and uh, uh, so we've, um, it's a core value. Uh, uh, justice is a core value for us. I think, specifically in in what's going on with media, there's uh, there's frustration with with you know with uh, 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 the not having more diversity and inclusion. As you've as, as you've said, there's a lot of transition going on now. There's mm-hmm. a lot of change. Uh, so I think there's an important uh, opportunity here. Uh, to to address that because the whole sector is being shaken up, um, uh, not just in terms of what um, uh, uh, what gets printed, what gets covered, uh, who who writes it, and, right. and who distributes it. Right, and and so all of those things matter in terms of how the uh, how the story turns out in the end. Who writes it? Who edits it? Uh, who distributes it? All of those things matter in terms of uh how things turn out in the end so i want to thank you uh pedro ramos for joining us this morning on 900 a.m wurd the wake up with word show and uh we will be talking with you soon look forward to it all right